You know, I always wonder, do condoms really work? I ain't used one of these motherfuckers in six years. I actually saw a couple kids outside that kind of looked like me. Well, maybe that's a good thing. I ain't trying to pay child support. Hey, kids. How you doing, folks? Gregory Hall. To the white people out there, your own personal niggerologist. So hang around a lot of white people, especially Jewish people. They give good tax tips. I got a lot of white friends. They all like to ask me dumbass questions and shit. Like, you know, you ever go to a white person's house and shit, especially when you're the only black person there, and they offer you Hennessy? Does it look like I drink Hennessy? Hey, motherfucker, I like a varsity. Fuck you. I get it. I know I got the nigga uniform, and don't let the jewelry fool you. You're like, oh, he must got a lot of money because he blinged out. Backwards cap, jewelry. But don't get it twisted. I robbed a couple niggas on the way here. Cameraman don't know I've been skiing on his ass since he got here. I got a ski mask in the back. This motherfucker is done. All this shit will be mine. A lot of shit I don't get, man. One of the things I don't get is this. I don't know if you noticed. A couple months back, I ran into this shit in the news. Shit was funny to me. That college fraternities actually have blackface parties. Have little theme parties like Blood and Crips Night and shit. Hip-hop night and shit. But you know what? I'm actually all for it. I'm not against it. I think all white people should have a blackface party. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw my own blackface party. And I'm invite all you white people. You could come over, wear blackface, and you could be a favorite black celebrity. Flavor Flav, Lil Wayne, whoever nigga you like during this month. You could come over, have a good time, and get the full black experience. But when you leave, I will be making an anonymous phone call to the police. Hi, 911. Yeah, hi, listen. There's a gang of niggas that just left my house. And uh, they look very dangerous. Yep, all right, and they also have a lot of weed and guns on them. All right, goodbye. And you'll get the full black experience if your dumb ass lived to tell about it. Because you probably won't. Because just in case you missed the memo, they are choking niggas out out there and shooting them, okay? I got stopped by the cops the other day. I was so goddamn scared, I told them I was Dominican. That was the first time in my life that being beige actually worked. I was like, wow, I'm actually light-skinned and it worked. It saved my life. I just like to tell the truth. I like to educate people and shit and help save lives and shit. And I got to save my own life, apparently, because apparently I put on some weight. Because, you know, I went to the doctors and the doctor was too happy with your old pal Greg over here. Apparently, I put on some weight. I gained 25 pounds in a year. And I said, wow, 25 pounds is a lot. I like chicken nuggets. What do you want me to do? I just free base them a lot. Cupcakes are delicious. So I said, okay, doc, what should I do? And I said, well, maybe you should try yoga. I said, yoga? The fuck out? What my big ass going to do in yoga? So I went. And then let me tell you something, folks. There is nothing more funny than seeing a six foot four, 260 pound nigga in a downward dog position. Okay, I'm sitting there. My goddamn legs is shaking and shit. And the instructor had a nerve enough to sit there and go with me. Go, now look at him. This is his first time and he's working out. He is really feeling this yoga. He is sweating. I said, nigga, this ain't no goddamn sweat, bitch. This is fucking tears, motherfucker. I'm crying. This shit hurt. I should have fucking took a Zumba class. It's some bullshit. But you know what, though? It brought back some bad memories and shit. You know, this weight loss shit. Because I was an ex-fat kid. And, and when I was a fat kid, I had problems. I had fat kid problems. And I ain't talking about trying to figure out, do you want a Whopper or a Big Mac, okay? I'm talking like gym class. You ever been to gym class as a fat kid? And you sitting there all goddamn day in the fucking classroom? And you sitting there like, oh, shit, do I got to run today? And that was my biggest fear because I couldn't run for shit. Because I had that fat kid cough. I used to just be running, just be, eh, eh. And they thought I had asthma and shit. And the gym teacher's like, do you have your inhaler? I said, no, bitch. I got, I'm fat. You give me a Twinkie. I need the equalizer. And then the worst part was when the boys had to play basketball, they did shirts and skins. I did not want the girls in my class to know I was a fucking B cup. Okay? That shit is fucked up. And they tell you some little black girls are cold in the motherfucker. They made fun of your old pal Greg over here. They was like, ew, he got titties. Nigga, you need a training bra. And I was like, I don't have titties, bitch. I'm husky. Fuck you. Okay, I like cupcakes. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with a cupcake. So the moral of the story is, be yourself, kids. It ain't nothing wrong with a cupcake. It ain't nothing wrong with a pink vagina. And I'm closing out on that. So go fuck. And I'm about to go rob this nigga right now. So let me go get my gun. Deuces.